How you guys doing? It's Tep here. I know it's been a while. I've not been uploading much. Most of you have to understand last year, the year before, you know, I had a lot of free time this year. I don't have a lot of free time and I think it's a little bit late to make tutorials and etc. But we're going to we're going to get what we can. Uh, in this episode, we're going to go through the formation 4231. I spoke about it on live stream a lot. If you like this type of content, if you like this episode, let me know. I will go through 442, 343, classic 433 for PES. All these four or five most effective formation used in PES, plus the gameplay as well. Let's dive into it. Okay. Now, when we talk about uh, 4231, even in real life, is the most flexible formation and is really, really hard to break. However, in defense, you're solid, but in attack, you need patience. If you play 4-2-3-1 poorly, you will have no effect on your opponent. It's not a formation you give the ball to Stryker to end run. Obviously, there are certain times when there's a clean chance, a clean channel, you do a clean through ball. But let's cover uh, the instructions, the tactics. On my club, if you're looking for a manager 4-2-3-1, the best one I can recommend is Brazil national manager, Quarkham Lo, Quarkham Lo, Joarjum Lo. These are... Um, also, Michael Laudrop, you probably have a fake name. But if you're looking for a 4-2-3-1, if you want to play it outside my club, as you can see, these are the attack instructions, position or counter, based on how you like to play. I prefer position, uh, kind of slow build-up. Uh, build-up, you're definitely short pass. Attacking area, center wide doesn't matter really. Your support range is really, really important here. Uh, positioning, maintain or flexible, I recommend maintain. Your support range is really important. Avoid support range like above 7 because your players will drift out uh, from the ball carrier. Normally support range 8 is for people who just like to run about or basically do long passes to the teammate. Not quick passing and build up and involving your team. Your attack, your defensive instruction, because the uh, formation wise you are defensive, you gotta have frontline pressure, aggressive. Containment area center is recommended. Um, your defensive line, because you are frontline pressure and aggressive, defensive line three to seven higher than that, it just defend, uh, depends on how good are you uh, defending. Your compactness should always be six till eight or six till 10. Anything below four, it's, it's not ideal. I mean, why would you want to be, why would you want to open up your defense when the opponent's attacking? You want to be as compact as possible. Yeah, sure, a lot of people spam crossing, goes to the flank, but there are other, other things you can add into it. You can add a, add a defense advanced instruction on your fullback so he won't join attack, or you can tight mark, etc. Because defending crossing, the best way to do it is to stop the cross. Once a cross goes in, defending ahead header is luck. You know, I've seen tiny players jumping over tall uh, center backs and winning the header. Anyway, back to the subject. So, the 4-2-3-1, as you can see, you gotta work the triangles. I mean, for example, you have your AMF, your winger, and your striker. And then the triangle on both sides, you gotta work them. And that's the best way um, to take advantage of this formation. In any formation, triangles works anyway. Now, your two defensive midfielders are the key in your defense, believe it or not. They act like a double pivot, pivot in, in front of your center backs. Ideally, you can use two DMFs. If you think like, uh, you know, you need to be more offensive, go two center midfielders or go DMF and CMF. Um, in terms of your fullback, you need fullback overlap. It's really important. If your manager attacking area is wide, you can use advanced instructions attacking fullback. Fullbacks overlap, your wingers cuts in, kind of drops in. Want to play more central, but your fullback is really important here in this formation. And again, here, as you can see, let's say you have a ball with your AMF. This is a simple gameplay tips, and you can do this all over the pitch, even from your defense. You have the ball with your AMF, a one-two with your striker, back to your AMF, and then bank to your winger. Play less predictable. When you have a ball with your AMF, do a one-two with your striker. Your striker makes a run, pulls the defense. Opponents thinks you're going to give the ball to your striker. Bang, give it to the fieldback. Same thing, when you're on the ball with your winger, you can do a one-two between the striker and the midfield and then bang to the other side switch. So try to play um, a little bit less predictable in a way. You know, try to decoy your opponent. Use your striker as a decoy because it's your only man and it's going to be isolated and easily marked. And you can look at all these triangles. Just take advantage. I mean, you got to have a plan. 
when it comes to gaming, it's all about your reaction, your decision making, and your ability to read your opponent. And you gotta have a little plan, you know, when you look at the radar, look at your teammate, use your peripherals uh, where your opponent is. How is he switching the cursor? How is he defending? Is he defending with the AI? Is he defending individually, selecting player changing? You gotta read your opponent, but you gotta take advantage of all these triangles, the formation that gives you. Is it the best formation to use on PES 2018? Probably not, but you can use your, for example, you're on my club. You should always have your defensive assistant coach 4231. If you're gonna use 4231 in terms of you're leading by three goals, you wanna keep the result, which is really hard because comebacks are fucking crazy. I call it comeback momentum. Um, if you you can sign a manager 4231 with a defensive style, maybe all out defense. If your purpose is to actually um, keep the result, you know, that will be your second tactic because on PES we have preset tactics, your main one, your defensive and your offensive. I normally start with this. If things go bad, I just switch to, switch to a more offensive formation and a manager. Now, squad builder based on player style card. This is really important. Your striker is either a goal poacher, fox in a box or target man. Your AMF is the key man there. Has to be, he has to have everything from pace, dribbling, physically strong, finishing, passing, stamina, I think everything is there and if you noticed my right back has pace uh, pace pass dribbling he's pretty offensive and that's why i have a build up or a destroyer when i have a very offensive fullback i make sure i have a dmf on his side so when a fullback overlaps the dmf covers up on the other side i have a box to box as well and everything if you do a squad builder based on this trust me is going to be very rewarding your opponent, you will frustrate the best players with this formation as long as you don't rush your defending. You should always select your DMF and CMF to defend. And um, that's pretty much pretty much is about this formation, guys. Next, I'll be doing a 442 flat um, instruction with the squad builder gameplay, probably with Valverde, um, because on my club I actually won Division One using a superstar team with Valverde. So if you get like at least I don't know 100 likes. The next episode is going to be Valverde. I'm going to leave you guys with some gameplay on the live stream, which I use Burchett. Uh, this was one of the best games that I played. Now, as an all sunshine and daisy, sure, you will lose games. I lose badly sometimes as well. The only downside is if your opponent, if you're like, all right, I'll give you an example. If my opponent is playing 4-2-3-1, I will use Gegenpress. I will man mark his um, striker. I will man mark his passer. I would push my defensive line every time I lose the ball. I will, you know, I will play aggressive. I try to suffocate 4-2-3-1. Because once you pressure 4-2-3-1, it's really hard to attack. When you're on the ball, it takes about 5 seconds for your LMF and RMF to make a run. In terms of attacking when you're leading, that is a good thing. Because when you have wingers, uh, your wing forward, as soon as you're on the ball, they're already up there and marked. But LMF and RMF make less predictable runs. And by the time they attack in, it's kind of hard to be marked because they're not there. They're not in the box already. They're not going to make the run fast into the box. When you're on the ball, they are about to make a run. Normally, it takes about three to five seconds for the opposition team defense to reshape and recover. So when you want to counter, you have five seconds to have a plan, use your vision, use your radar, and counter. Going to leave you guys with the gameplay. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe. Happy sip. Till next time, ciao for now. Sit down. Sit the fuck down. Still here, Jidebs. It reminds you of Aguero.
And this is a Pesli Talgo. Yo, Naughty, did you sign Burchett, by the way? Did you sign Burchett? Some goals in this game, dude. Some goals in this match. Obviously, the support range is pretty low. Only three. And it does exactly how you like to play. Number one, you have LMF and RMF. So when you're on the ball, there are no wing forwards. You know, they're not going to be up there already marked. They're going to slightly come in and make the run. And um, support range-wise, like even I'm surprised. Like sometimes I don't even know where Messi is. He's like freaking everywhere. If you, I mean, there's a difference between playing ping pong and tiki taka. But the way I'm playing with it, I think it suits you perfectly. The only thing is, Naughty, if you're going to use Burchett, make sure to have a 4-3-3 manager. Because trust me, you get opponents. As I said, I played 26 games with 4-2-3-1. I lost, I won 19, I lost 4, and I think I drew 1 or something. And the only time I was losing, it was against aggression. Even in real life. When you suffocate 4-2-3-1, you can't get out of your own half. And that was the only matches that I lost. It was against... Um, crazy aggression I'm talking about high defensive line pressing your defensive line manually every time you lose the ball I mean, it wasn't my luck to actually <laughs> get a match against smart players who knew how to suffocate 4-2-3-1 I doubt it but we don't have different cards but we have different version because of the and you know what? They actually did that. They didn't do that with the first data pack, though, did they? They didn't do that with the first data pack, you know? Douglas. And Zoo is self the manager. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to turn your notifications on so you will get notified when my next video uh, will be live. Greatly appreciated, guys. Also, if you want to catch up on my live stream, I do live stream the My Club series as well. Uh, you can just go to my uh, Twitch channel, link is in the description. You can click on past, past broadcast or the highlights.